Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a massive clean out. Um, I do it periodically because I just don't like to be overwhelmed with makeup that I don't use or I don't care for. Um, so I like to make room for new uh, makeup that I bring in. So I never like accumulate massive amounts, but I haven't done a clean out in a while. But most of these things are either I've sampled or I've demonstrated them on another video or um, I've used partial, you know, partial of it and then just decided for whatever reason I didn't want it anymore. So most of these things I'm going to just be making a collection of throwaway and um, give some things away to my friends. So um, if you want to see what's all in here and my collection and what I'm getting rid of, then stay with me because we're about to get, we're about to go through it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go through is my eyebrow um, makeup, and I basically know that there's nothing in here that I'm willing to give up. Um, it's just got a few of my Wonder Brows, my Anastasia Brow, and this Rimmel, and then some like tweezers and things like that that I use. Um, also, I got this one from Ipsy, and I'm just not willing to part with any of that yet. Next up, I have this drawer, and it's kind of all my... Look, this is a color, uh, Revlon Color Stay, and I loved these shadows, um, but I just don't reach for it anymore, so I think it's time to say goodbye. Same with this. This is a Clinique, and it had really pretty colors. I really liked this brown for a while, but um, it's just one of those things that I'm just ready to say goodbye to. And then this Mary Kay, I loved this for a while. It's the prettiest, um, just... It's so, so pretty, um, kind of a purple plum color. It's called, um, let's see, Lavender Fog. And I loved it, but I need to make new room, so, and it's, I've had it for a long time. These I plan to give to a friend because I really, really love them. Um, they are the Sephora uh, Colorful Shadow and Liner, and it's waterproof, and as you can see, it's just super, super pretty. And it's just, oh, I just love that. It's like almost a metallic color, but I just don't reach for it. Um, I'm not sure why, but I have several of them. There's this color, another gorgeous color. Not very, very pretty, but it's just time to say goodbye. Um, I just, for whatever reason, just don't use them. This is the same thing. Chubby stick, gorgeous, don't use it. This is called Swimmy Chubby, and it's waterproof, gorgeous. But I have tried them all and sampled them all, so with knowing that, I am just going to give it to a friend who will enjoy it. But gorgeous, gorgeous colors. But for whatever reason, I don't reach for it. So that drawer just completely emptied out, so that makes me happy. So we'll move on to the next drawer, and this drawer is definitely my um, lipsticks. And this is the type of lipstick that I really, really like. I like um, long-wearing lipstick. Some of my favorites are these Sephora's, and these are my new um, purchases of Model Own, Model Zone, and I'm loving these. The colors are to die for. Um, but these are probably my favorite right now is these Sephora's. And then I also have a lot of these NYX Glam lip glosses. I've got tons of different colors in those. Um, and they're just a basic lip gloss. And um, I still use those, so I don't want to say goodbye to those. And then, of course, my Liquid Cat Suits. Now, this one I think I want to get rid of. It's the Tartist um, Lip Paint. And it's just not the right color for me. It's super, super pretty, but it's just too light. So it just looks silly on my lips. So I'm going to give that away. And I also have this Marc Jacobs, and it's a gorgeous color in hot cocoa. And it looks like this, but for whatever reason, I just don't reach for it. So it's so pretty. It's a gorgeous nude. You would think I would, but um, this is an expensive little sucker, and for not to be reaching for it, it's time to say uh, goodbye and hello to somebody who will enjoy it. This is a Ulta uh, Butter Balm Lip Gloss. Again, it's pretty. It's a little bit sticky. Um, I don't reach for it for whatever reason, so we're going to say goodbye. These I 
Don't know why I don't reach for them. Um, I love them. They're a great all, all day lipstick. They're, it's called Naked Four, but they're from AliExpress. And they're beautiful. And I've got like every color in them. I've got the um, Red Light. I've got Anarchy, Liar, uh, Besso, Double Dare, Nooner. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Um, but I just don't reach for them. And they just take up so much room but they are so pretty, and this is so hard to say goodbye, but for one reason or another, I don't wear them. So I'm ready to say goodbye to them and give them to somebody who will like them. So the rest of these I think I'll keep because I do wear them on a regular basis. Next drawers, more lipsticks. Okay, so this ColourPop, I really, I really want to like. I keep trying it and it's the peach. Let's see what color is it. It's called Oversized Cream. I just bought it. Um, it melted a little bit in the packaging, but I just don't love it. I don't know why. I just don't. So I hate to not give it a fair chance, but it's been in here for a while and I just don't wear it. So goodbye. This one I had gotten from Ipsy and I tried it maybe a couple of times and it's a butter lip balm by Adesse New York and it's just a great lip balm that has this very, very sheer color pink to it, um, but I do not reach for it, so goodbye. My e.l.f., I use these, I really like my e.l.f. Uh, lipsticks, my Sephora lipsticks, I really like um, NYX. You know, this one I just got and I don't like it. It's um, it's a whipped NYX formula and it's called Plush. And it's just one of those that I just don't like. Um, it never sets down on my lips. People are gonna love this. It is creamy and it does feel like, like whipped lusciousness on your lips. It feels great. But for me, I like things that are gonna stay. And this just doesn't. It's more like a gloss almost. So it looks like that. Very, very pretty. Um, but it's gone within a few minutes, so I'm going to say goodbye. This is Outlast CoverGirl, and I've just had it for a long time, and it's a stain, and it's just not my favorite, so I'm going to say goodbye to that. And the rest I think I'll keep. So that made a little bit more room. And next up is my um, single eyeshadows, and I have these color pops that I don't reach for often. I think more because of the colors but I really do like them, so I'm not gonna part with these yet. Um, this is another one that, um, it's the Estee Edit, and it's the metallic shadow where the cream's on the top and then the glitter type metallic colors on the bottom. And I paid a lot for this, and I definitely am not using it, but I wanna give it a little bit more of a try before I get rid of it. This is a pretty Urban Decay that I do use. This is a Luna that I just received, and these are all my Macs, and I definitely still use those. Um, here's some more Macs over here. And these are my Milani's, and I'm not using these. As much as I wanted to, I'm just not. So I'm thinking about saying goodbye to these, um, but I'm gonna have to think about that for a few more minutes. Um, other than that, let's see, this is the Infallible. I think I'll say goodbye to that because I don't reach for that. This is the Color Tattoo and it's the pigment. Hmm, I do like it. I just don't reach for it. I think I'll think about that. There's another Urban Decay. And then the 24 hour tattoo, Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. Um, I really like these. And then these are some of my favorites. It's the Sephora brand and it's the eyeshadow. If you guys have ever tried that, you know why I like it so much. This is a um, Beauty Basic and I got it in my Ipsy and I've used it once and I just, I don't know, I just don't reach for it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. And this is a Victoria's Secret and I've just had it for a very long time. It's very pretty. Um, it's a gorgeous brown color, and it's, as you can see on my finger, it's gorgeous. It's got great pigment, um, but I just don't reach for it, so I need to say goodbye. 
And then here I've got two of the um, Ipsy Beauty Basics, so I'm gonna give both of those away. And this is a Hakari Cream Pigment, and it's so pretty, and I just think it's gorgeous, but look at that, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna have to, in the, oh, it just went on so good. I just need to give this a little bit more of a try. I, I'm not ready to part with that yet, but I don't reach for it, but it's so pretty. So that made a little bit more space in here. This one is kind of random palettes and I am ready to say goodbye. I loved this NYX one. Um, it's you know seen its day on a few of these, but maybe some of my daughter's friends would like this because it's a great palette. I just don't use it. I have two of them. This one I barely used at all um, and I just don't use them. This is by Dirty Little Secrets and I do really like this little palette. So, and I, and I use it, so I'm gonna keep that. This is Pacifica. You know, I just don't reach for it. They're all really shimmery, and I've got a lot of similar colors. They're gorgeous, they're very, very pretty. I love this yellow color, um, but it's just a palette that I don't reach for. So I'm gonna say goodbye. This one, I am still trying. I can't seem to love it. Everybody seems to like it a lot. It's the Stila, and it is uh, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow, and it's gorgeous when you put it on like that. I mean, look at that. Seriously, oh, so pretty. But I just cannot get it to um, stay. It, it dries, and then I have little specks of gold uh, the rose gold little specks fall down on my cheeks, so I don't know. Somebody told me to try um, to try the glue, the eyeshadow glue, and it will hold it. So I'm gonna give that a try. These are bare minerals, and I definitely don't reach for that. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Another one, goodbye. This is my uh, Vizart palette, and oh my gosh, you guys. If you have not tried this palette yet, you definitely need to. It is one of the best eyeshadows that I think I have ever used. I, you know, I'm totally obsessed with this. So, it's expensive, it's pricey, but oh my God, is it worth it. This is another palette, I think it's gorgeous, or not a palette, but a little duo, eyeshadow duo, and it's by Clinique, and it's called Morning Java, and both colors I think I'll really use, so I'm gonna keep that. So, that really opened up this box. Next one is my eyeliners, and I didn't start out with very many eyeliners to begin with, so I know that these are all ones that I'm keeping, um, because for various reasons, I know that um, I would use all of these. So my eyeliners, I'm not ready to get rid of any yet. These are some highlighters. I love this highlighter. This one is okay, nothing fancy, but I do like it. And then um, I never had any luck with these elves, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I think they're very, very pretty. They just don't seem to show up on my skin really well. And um, if I'm gonna use a highlighter, I really want it to a pack the punch um, of product. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to these. This one is Cabana Bronze, and it's just kind of a Kim Kardashian. And I actually do use this some, so I'm gonna keep that. And this is my new uh, Models Own, and this is my absolute favorite highlighter right now. It's just jaw-dropping, jaw it's that pretty. Um, it looks like this, and you will glow to the gods if you wear it, so I love this right now. This is a sample, I think it was Urban Decay, but it doesn't have anything written on it. I got it from Ipsy, and I do like it. These are some blushes, and I have been really trying out the blushes to, um, you know, really find one that I like. This is a Korean brand, and it's, um, I don't, it's Apu. And the color is gorgeous, but it's messy with this little pad, and um, I just don't reach for it, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. This one I actually have, and the same brand, um, somebody had recommended this to me, and I do like this. The problem is, is I put on my foundation first, and when I do that, I don't like to go over with a wet product, um, but it is, beautiful color and it will leave your cheek it will stay on and I really actually forgot I even had this and didn't even realize I had this brand when somebody had recommended it to me 
but um, I do love the color. I think it's beautiful. I just, for whatever reason, don't like to apply anything wet after my foundation. So I'm gonna get rid of that. These two I have gotten from Ipsy, and this one I'm not crazy about, but this one I actually love. I used this today, and I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful color on the cheeks, and super excited about it because a lot of times I can't get this balm, the balm cosmetic products to show up on me, but these I like. This one is in Teakwood, and it is Merle Norman, and I never reach for it. It's a gorgeous color, but since it's been in there for so long, I'm saying goodbye. This is a Fit Me blush. I used it one time. The color does not show up on me at all, so I'm going to say goodbye. These are some mattes, and I will use that. This is something I got in Ipsy, and for the same reason, it's like a, um, a cream, and I won't use it, so I'm gonna say goodbye. This is a Mary Kay. It's a very pretty color. I think I'll keep that. And this one, I'm on the fence about. It's gorgeous, but I don't know why I don't reach for it. I think because it's so shimmery, as you can see, it's just super, super shimmery, and I think it should be used more like a highlighter than, um, than an actual blush, and that might be what it is actually considered. It's Illuminating Face Highlighter, so it is. It's in rose gold. So I actually need to move this into my highlighter section because that makes more sense. This is a Bare Minerals um, blush. Let's see. Boy, that is pretty. I don't reach for it though. I might wanna just keep on that a little bit longer. Hikari, I love this. I absolutely love this blush. It's a beautiful one. This looks like another, it looks very similar. French Kiss and Faux Pas. So they are slightly different, so I think I'll keep them just because my um, blush collection isn't enormous. But I'm hoping to put them all in one drawer. So let's pull this one out. This is a ColourPop um, eyeshadow and I need to make room for that in another drawer. These are my NARS blushes. Um, these are actually AliExpress NARS. I like them all. They're all very, very pretty, very pigmented, and they stay on well. It's more like a bronzer or a contour, so maybe I can get these all in one now. Now, I've already given some of these NARS away to um, my daughter's friends, who, the ones, the colors that I knew I wouldn't like. And then these are my newest edition right here is by NYX, and these are my most beloved eyeshadow, I mean, uh, blushes right now. I love them. They're beautiful. I did a whole video on them, so if you miss that, I will post it right up here, um, but I love it. I got a number seven and some more mix. Um, and this is a blush from ColourPop, and I haven't even really used it a whole lot, um, but it's gorgeous. It's such a pretty color. It's definitely peach, and um, the highlighter is beautiful. Very bronzy gold, so I really like that. I think I'll keep that. My um, setting sprays, I know I wanna keep. So there's really nothing in that drawer that I want to get rid of. I've got the Dr. Brandt. I've got some different um, setting sprays. I've got the Urban Decay. Um, so I know I want to keep all that. This bottom drawer, my foundation drawer, I definitely just went through that. So I know that there's nothing in here that I want to give away um, as of yet. So I definitely um, have a lot of foundations, but I went through them all. Next is mascaras, and I did a complete clean out of mascaras, so I know that those are ones that I'll keep. And these are my uh, bronzers, and this is a highlighter. I wonder if I can put it in here now for this highlighter. But I don't have very many bronzers, so the ones I have, I really enjoy. Um, so I'm gonna keep those. Okay, so these are a few palettes. And I literally never reach for this, ever. And it's so pretty, it's so pretty. 
I don't know. I think I'm gonna say goodbye. I just don't use it. This one is the Lorac Pro and it is an AliExpress one. It's very, very pretty, um, gorgeous colors. I think one of my daughter's friends would really enjoy this palette. I just don't, so I'm gonna say goodbye. This is fairly new, it's a ColourPop, and um, I'm gonna put it up here with my other ColourPop eyeshadows, and that way it fits right in there. This is my Tarte, and I don't reach for this. It's so pretty though. Why do I not reach for that? I think I'll say goodbye. I don't reach for it. These are some palettes that I have to the side and I definitely use my Modern Renaissance almost every day. This is my go-to palette along with my Buxom palette, which these are just my I mean, absolute favorite. So that's why they sit outside, outside my drawer too because I use them so frequently. Okay, these are concealers. I'm going to say goodbye to this MAC because I do not like it. It's too thick. It's a lot MAC Long Pro Wear. Um, this is just a small little sample of the Urban Decay Primer. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is a Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I'm going to get rid of that because I exclusively use for my eye primer is my Painterly Long Wear uh, Paint Pot. I use that every single day religiously. So I'm going to say goodbye to the rest of these. This is a champagne eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna say goodbye to that. And of course I love this. This is one of my holy grails. Um, this is a very nice concealer. I got it from Ipsy. I used it a couple of times, but I just don't reach for it. This is a color correcting concealer and um, I just do not use it. So. I'm gonna say goodbye. And the rest I think I will use at some point. This is my Tarte. And this is that new contour thing that I had picked up at TJ Maxx and I'm actually liking it. So I'm gonna keep these. These are more foundations that I know because I've already gone through my foundations, I know I will wear these, but I've got the Lancome, the NARS, the Naked Skin, the Cover Proof Foundation, the Bear It All by Pure, and the uh, CC Cream by It. Definitely keep those. Okay, so let's now look in my drawer, which is packed full. Okay, so this drawer is a mess. I had it organized at one time and it's just mainly lots of lashes. Um, but here's a palette, it's the Zoeva Cocoa Blend and it is an AliExpress. It's beautiful colors, but I don't use it, so that's going to go added to my giveaway. I mean, not my giveaway, but my, you know, people I wanna give to my friends. This is my Morphe palette and I really like this Morphe palette. Let's see if I can get it open. And I do use it a lot, so I'm going to keep this one. This is a palette that I had gotten off Amazon, and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, but the colors are just not something that I normally wear, so I think I'm going to give it away. And this is the um, palette that I had gotten from um, AliExpress, Talk about gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, I love it, but I just don't reach for it. So, but the pigment is to die for. Look at this pigment. It is so, so pretty. This is an Ulta um, eyeshadow, and I'm going to give this away because I do not use this either. Here's some eyelashes that I don't use, so I'm gonna see if anybody else would want to use them. This is a palette that I had picked up at TJ Maxx and it's beautiful, but I have already a lot of the colors, so I'm going to see if anybody else could, could use this palette. Great palette though. This is the Sculpted It Cosmetics palette. I have tried to use this. I use basically one color out of the entire palette. So it's one of those that um, I paid a lot of money for, but I don't use it, so I need to say goodbye. Some lip glosses from Ulta. I'm going to get rid of that. These are some eyelashes. 
more eyelashes that I do use. Um, I really do like these, so I'm gonna keep those. I like these too. These are beautiful, but they are so um, glamorous. I mean, they are definitely uh, a going out, very special occasion kind of eyelashes, but they're so pretty, so I need to keep these. I like these for every day. You probably saw that on one of my videos. These are some new ones that I had just picked up. Um, I thought they looked really natural, so I think I'm gonna keep these. This is a foundation cushion and I believe it's almost brand new. I must have tried it, but it's a foundation cushion and you can see how much product you get. Um, and I use this for a long time. I love this brand, it's a Misha uh, Magic Cushion. It's got SPF 50 in it, love it. Um, but now that I've got so many different other ones, I just don't reach for this one. So I'm gonna see if anybody would be interested in that. These are beautiful too. The Red Cherry eyelashes. This is the Kylie palette, and I do still really like this palette, and it's got very unusual colors in it, so I think I'm going to keep that. This is the uh, Beauty Shop Face Blur. Um, I definitely love this. It's a face primer. I just have other face primers that I reach, but I do love this. This is such a pretty... This is um, some eyelash growth. I've already got three other ones. I ordered a bunch of them. I love this stuff. It works. My daughter's used it. Um, I put one in my giveaway. This is brand new. Um, so I'm just gonna give it to somebody who can use it because I've got so many of them. These are the Proactive and um, I had gotten on a kick of it for a while. Really liked it, but I just don't have acne prone skin. Um, I have oily to combination skin, but it's more mature skin that doesn't need acne free. So I'm gonna give this to somebody who might use it. I'm really enjoying the Nudu uh, toner and these just put a slight sting to my face. And so I just feel like I might as well get rid of them because I'm not reaching for them. This is a uh, Laneige Multiberry Yogurt Repairing Mask, and you actually wear this um, at nighttime, and then you wash it off in the morning, and um, it's just not something I do. I just don't do that in my skincare. So um, people are raving about this. It smells delightful. I just don't use it. And then this is um, the Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner, and you probably already know that I'm obsessed with um, the Famous Days Sunless Tanner. That's all I use. I love it. It has no smell. Um, so I'm just going to give this to somebody who might like to try it. But that's it. That's kind of a quick tour of um, my uh, cosmetics and all of my makeup products and um, things that I'm getting rid of. So this already makes me feel tremendously better. So I think that um, some of my friends might like to try these things and see if it works for them because they're all great products, just things that I just don't use for one reason or another. So thanks for being here. I know this is a long video, but if you enjoy this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Um, that way I know what kind of videos you guys like to see. So I appreciate you guys and I will see you on the next video.